thematic areas that we have adopted. These are the improvement of good governance, improvement of academic activities, infrastructural upgrade, and enhancement of the welfare of staff and students. In achieving these scorecards, we have implemented the following activities. In the people and learning facilities. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, with all respects to the improvement of teachings and learning facilities, with all respect, with all respect, the improvement of teaching and learning facilities. We have commenced a systematic process of rehabilitating our teaching facilities to technical upgrade and installation of projectors, audio video systems. We have also placed great emphasis to developing the libraries and laboratories. The lecture rooms have been well refurbished. Furthermore, in attempts to create a library of international standard and well equipped for effective teaching, learning, and research, the library is well stocked with the 21st century journals and books. We have commenced a 24 hour library services. To the best of my knowledge, people remain the only institution in the Republic of Guinea where this kind of services have been operated. <laughs> On the controversial issues of NYSC, I'm delighted to inform you that there is no room or no reasons to nozzle any fear because the UNC and the government of Republic of Guinea has given us the full accreditation and our students are participating, are also going to participate in the National Youth Service Corps. Laughing, are you in doubt of that? No. Staff development and welfare. The university intermittently hosted workshops in developing our next generation of researchers in collaboration with the postgraduate school. The workshop attracted active facilitators across Nigeria. And it's always run for a whole week at Messiland International Hotel Idiroko, just for conveniences and for proximity. Just this year, the university has conducted two workshops, conferences, and seminars, and we are also planning to conduct at least three workshops conferences and seminars in the following year. The welfare of our staff and students. As we have always promised and always stand by our words, we pay salary as at when due and all the allowances promptly. And I'm highly delighted to reports that we have kept faith with these our promises. The head of the staff and of our students are paramount. In line with this dictum, health is wealth. The school clinic has been upgraded to an international standard. May interest you that we also operate 24 hours. You want to ask me how it does work? Ask your children. Any time of the day when they have any health challenges, we are always there to actively 
advice for the fresh graduates is to regard Puma International Business University as a springboard, as well as a call to pretty challenges and aspiration in life. There is no doubt that you will face challenges that will tax your intellectual, that's not, that's T-A-X-K, please. That will tax your intellectuals and entrepreneurial spirit. But never give up. Do not allow any problem to overwhelm you. Of course, you need problem to be great in life. Because when problem does not come, you remain where you are. As a researchers, researchers who believe that one of the attributes and characteristics of research is that research is cyclical. It starts with problems and also ends with problems. Because we always give you an advice for more reasons to want to make research. So I want to challenge you that you should not run away. Don't be like an average African. And whenever they come across any problem or challenges, they start weeping. In the advanced world, it is an opportunity for them to go into more research and to find a lasting solution to it. So I want to advise you that you should just please have this kind of a spirit. As a business school, we have inculcated into you the entrepreneurship spirit. Do not start looking or waiting for any white collar job, but go out there to tell the whole world that you are an original and you are not a counterfeit. Never give up. Do not allow any problem to overwhelm you. And I pray that the Almighty God will guide your step into greater successes in life. My special appeal is to be a good ambassador of this great university. Whenever you find, wherever you find yourself, as you leave people, I encourage you to take charge of your intelligence, inspiration, resilience, and ability. You have what it takes to make the future a great and huge success. I want to encourage you that don't be like others that are so much believe in theories and when the opportunity comes, they do not annex the opportunity. There are vast opportunities in Nigeria and there. There are vast opportunities in our country. Go out there and make sure you make good use of all the opportunities that comes on your way. To the matriculating student, the challenges ahead of you is enormous and taxing. The word is we do not believe in substandard quality in Puma Business International University. We do not believe in cutting corners. We believe in the due process. We believe in the worst standard. We believe the standard uphold is standard valued. So, if you are coming in here into Puma, be prepared. Reconsider your decision. Rethink. Go to your thinking corner and think and think very, very well because we are going to drill you and make sure we carve out what the nation is expecting from every one of you. Read, read, read. A reader is known to be a leader. A leader is known to be an influencer. A leader is known to be somebody that makes things to happen. A reader is an inventor. A reader, reader, a reader is somebody that goes out there to set a pace. Face what you have come to do. Your primary purpose is to make sure that you have quality education, and the lecturers are there prepared to give you all that is needed to make you to sit 
through all challenges of life. The joy of today, the joy of today is that the Almighty God in His infinite mercy should keep guiding you, should keep directing you, and keep leading you as you pursue your dreams and a vision in life. Let me round up with these few challenges to the matriculating student. What do you need in life? You need quality education. What does it require? It requires your time for you to be in the lecture room at every point in time, for you to make sure that you read your notice first, 